Welcome to Trump Wire, your trusted source for breaking headlines, global insights, and sharp analysis from around the world. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. In late May 2025, silence fell over Comac's Shanghai assembly line. The C919, China's flagship passenger jet, was grounded, not by technical failure, but by missing engines. The CFM International Leap 1C engines built by GE and Safran stopped arriving. Customs held up crates. The heart of the C919 was cut off, a casualty of escalating trade tensions. The U.S. Commerce Department's review of sensitive exports halted engine deliveries, a direct response to China's own rare earth restrictions. The C919, once a symbol of China's ambition, was now a pawn in a global chess match. Production targets crumbled. Only a handful of jets reached airlines like China Eastern and Air China. The factory's silence echoed a harsh truth. China's aviation dreams were vulnerable to foreign supply chains. The crisis was a wake-up call for Beijing. The C919 wasn't just an airplane, it was a test of national pride and technological independence. The engine stoppage didn't just delay deliveries, it exposed a critical weakness in China's strategy. May 2025 became a turning point, forcing China to rethink its reliance on foreign technology and accelerating its quest for self-reliance in the skies. The shockwaves spread far beyond Comac's walls, shaking the global aviation industry. The world watched as China's boldest aerospace project teetered on the edge, its future uncertain. The silence in Shanghai was more than a pause, it was the start of a new era in aviation. The question was no longer if China could build a jet, but whether it could control its own destiny. For decades, Boeing and Airbus ruled the skies, their jets shaped global travel and supply chains, but China, with its booming travel market, wanted more than to buy planes, it wanted to build them. Enter the Comac C919, a single-aisle jet designed to challenge the duopoly and give Chinese airlines a homegrown option. The C919 was more than a plane, it was a national project, aiming to capture China's vast market and eventually compete globally. Building the C919 meant creating an entire ecosystem, suppliers, engineers, and certification processes. For Chinese airlines, the C919 promised a reliable supply, free from Western political whims. By 2025, the C919 was flying with China Eastern and attracting orders from other major carriers. The duopoly finally faced a credible challenger, at least within China. But beneath the surface, the C919's reliance on Western components, especially its engines, was a hidden vulnerability. That weakness was about to be exposed in dramatic fashion. The C919 is a product of global collaboration, but its most vital part, the engine, was entirely foreign. The jet was built around the CFM Leap 1C, a marvel from GE and Safran. When the US and France halted engine exports, they held the fate of the C919 in their hands. The stoppage was a stark reminder. In high-tech industries, supply chains are levers of power. For China, this dependence was intolerable. The dream of aviation independence was grounded by a foreign-made heart. The crisis lasted six tense weeks, but its lesson would echo for years. Unlike Boeing and Airbus, whose home country's house engine makers, Comac was an outsider, dependent on rivals for its most critical system. The 2025 engine halt exposed the structural disadvantage for all to see. China's leaders realized designing a jet wasn't enough. True power meant mastering the engine. The temporary crisis was over by July but the strategic shift had begun. China would never let its aviation future hinge on foreign parts again. The engine crisis didn't break China, it galvanized it. The CJ-1000A, a domestic jet engine suddenly became a national priority. Funding, talent and urgency poured in. What was once a long-term project became a technological race against time. Engineers at AECC were tasked with accelerating development, solving technical hurdles and preparing for rapid certification. The goal replaced the Leap 1C, end reliance on Western suppliers, and secure China's aviation ambitions. Developing a modern jet engine is one of the world's toughest engineering feats, but China was determined to join the elite club. The CJ-1000A program became a symbol of national resolve, even if the first engines weren't as efficient, they would be secure, immune to foreign sanctions. This was more than technology. It was a declaration of independence. 
China's journey to true aviation power had begun. The engine crisis highlighted the stark contrast between Comac and its Western rivals. Boeing and Airbus enjoy stable, politically aligned supply chains. Their engine makers, GE, Pratt & Whitney, Safran, Rolls-Royce, are close partners, not foreign risks. For Comac, relying on the Leap 1C, a product of its competitors' home countries, was a strategic liability. The 2025 stoppage made this painfully clear. While Boeing and Airbus offer airlines a choice of engines, the C919 had only one option, a single point of failure. China's push for the CJ-1000A is an attempt to level the playing field, to gain the supply chain security its rivals take for granted. An all-Chinese C919 would be insulated from foreign sanctions and trade disputes. This isn't just about catching up, it's about changing the power dynamics of global aviation. The Western duopoly's strength is stability. Comac's challenge is to build its own. The next chapter in aviation will be written by those who control their own engines. For China that means turning vulnerability into strength, the race for engine independence is on. On paper the C919 is a solid competitor, it seats up to 192 passengers, matching the Airbus A320neo and rivaling the Boeing 737 MAX, but range is where the C919 lags, its maximum is about 5,500 kilometers, enough for most Chinese routes, but less than the A320neo or 737 MAX, which can fly farther. This limits the C919's appeal for international routes and keeps it mostly within China for now. The lack of FAA or EASA certification further restricts its global reach. The CJ1000A engine could change the equation, but first-generation engines are rarely as efficient as established Western models. Early CJ1000A-powered C919s may have shorter range or higher costs, but for China, supply chain independence is worth the trade-off. The long-term goal closed the performance gap, just as China has done in other tech sectors. For now, the C919 is a strong domestic player, but the world is watching its next move. The 20,000 shirts I'm known friends so for modern for putting what 2025 engine crisis didn't just hit Comac, it sent shockwaves through global aviation. Chinese airlines counting on C919 deliveries suddenly faced a capacity crunch. With Comac's output slashed, airlines scrambled for planes, turning back to Boeing and Airbus. China entered talks for a massive Airbus order, over 500 jets, its biggest since 2019. Boeing, too, became essential again, despite earlier trade tensions. The irony. U.S. action against Comac created new business for American and European rivals. Some countries eyed Embraer's E-2 jets as alternatives, hedging against future disruptions. The lesson was clear. In a world of geopolitical risk, airlines and nations must diversify and adapt fast. For China, the CJ-1000A is more than an engine, it's the key to true aerospace power. Engine independence means no foreign government can ground China's aviation industry. A C919 with a Chinese engine becomes a sovereign product, immune to outside pressure. Mastering engine tech lifts the entire industrial base, with benefits for military, energy, and beyond. The US, UK and France guard their engine secrets for a reason, it's a cornerstone of national strength. The road ahead is tough. The CJ-1000A must prove itself in years of testing and real-world use. Setbacks are likely, but China is playing the long game, confident it can close the gap through relentless iteration. The stakes are enormous, but so is the prize control over China's industrial destiny. The first engines may lag behind, but the momentum is unstoppable. For China, engine independence is worth every effort. The C919's engine saga is a turning point for global aviation. The 2025 crisis exposed the risks of global supply chains in a world of rising nationalism. China's push for the CJ-1000A could break the Boeing Airbus duopoly, giving airlines a third major choice. If China succeeds, the skies will be more competitive and more political. If it fails, the duopoly endures and China's ambitions are checked. The stakes are high, not just for aviation, but for the future of global industry. The C919's journey is a case study in how nations will compete and cooperate in the decades ahead. 
One thing is certain, the events of 2025 have changed the flight path of the entire industry, and the world is watching to see where it lands.